Hi again, Tom here from Wheeler Automotive. Today showing you around this first class Land Rover Discovery 4 HSE. Finished in Santorini black. Uh, it's got a two-tone leather interior, which looks superb. We'll show you that after we've gone around the outside. It's a seven seat model. It does have a removable tow bar which I'll show you is it is stowed in the boot and it's in amazing condition uh, it's done just over 86,000 miles it's got a full Land Rover service history um, last serviced at 74,000 miles which was a major service they did the oils and filters um, air filter they did the transfer case oil as well um, so yeah it's been very well looked after it starts, stops and drives excellently, as you would expect. And uh, yeah, this, um, this is the last, uh, or the facelifted uh, version of, uh, of the Disco 4, which I think is the best looking one. It's got this nice front end, these LED DRLs as well. So yeah, let's go into some detail. Um, there's not really any dents on the car at all. There's a couple of little marks on the bonnet here, which won't show up there very well, I wouldn't have thought. And I suspect that's from uh, bird poo being left on there too long. Um, front bumper's all good. No real marks, No, there's no scratches on the bumper corners or these are really common places for them to get scratched, but perfect on this one. Number plate's nice and clear. No scratches on this corner either. The, the wing here is all good. No marks on that really. There's a little, I think that looks like a stone chip, which has been, try and get it to focus on it, which has been touched in. That's it on the front wing really. Really like these uh, alloys, which are in excellent condition all the way around. Um, it's got a matching set of Pirelli Scorpion tyres, all with loads of tread on them. Uh, the front discs have a very small lip on them, so lots of life in those. Pads look nice and thick as well. So yeah, lots of life in the front brakes. Driver's door. There's a little mark here. I'll try and get it to focus on that, there you go. Um, I'm not sure whether that's from someone else's door touching it there, but that's pretty much it. And you can see the shine on the other disco I've got. You can see the shine is, is excellent. It looks really smart. Tinted glass on the V-pillar back. This offside rear passenger door, again, really nice shape. There's a few little scuffy marks from where people have used the handle, try and get it to focus there, you can see. But uh, on the whole, really, really clean. This rear wheel, again, loads of, uh, loads of tread in that tire. Even smaller lip on that brake, so those discs have got lots of life. Pads look like they've got lots of meat in them. And again, a pretty flawless alloy. It's got the side steps as well, I didn't mention. Offside rear quarter again, really, really clean. There's no scrapes. Again, this is a really common area for them to get scratched, but nice and perfect. It's got front and rear parking sensors, as you can see there. It also has a reversing camera, which is very handy, because it is quite a big bus. Really like the look of these sort of boxy shaped discos. That's actually my daily, that one. That's how much I like them. No real scratches around here either. See in the sunlight, lovely metallic paint. Lights are all nice and clear. Around to the near side. Again, you can see my reflection now, that's how shiny it is. Just looks amazing in the sunlight. So look at this wheel. 
So tyre, yeah, same as the other side, loads of life. Discs and pads are the same as the other side. It's alloy again. I don't know whether that's a scratch or that's that's just brake dust. There we go and get that off. Yeah, so not a scratch on that one either. Near side rear door. Yeah, same as the other side. Really clean. As is the front passenger door. There is a tiny, tiny, tiny little car park door ding, which you can probably see the distortion of the driveway there. That's probably the sum total of dents on the car. That's how nice it is. Again, side steps. Not only look really cool, but quite functional. Round to this front tyre. We're about a mil and a half away from the wear indicator there, so a good few thousand left in it. Yeah, discs the same as the other side, as are the pads. And again, a really, really clean alloy wheel. So on the outside, especially in the sunlight, look at that. This car is in excellent condition and it's even nicer on the inside. So let's start off looking in the boot. So we've got a split tailgate. So I did have the, uh, I was just checking all the seats were okay. So I had them up. That's why the load line is laid down there. But that goes in the, across the back. Um, the rear uh, sixth and seventh seat is all black leather. Um, in this side, we've got the detachable tow bar. And over in this side, got the tool kit and everything. Yeah, really clean back here. There's no dog hairs. The car's never been smoked in, I can tell. So it's it smells nice. There's very, very few signs of wear back here whatsoever. It's obviously had a nice, easy life. Into the rear. Door cards, really spotless. And then we've got these lovely cream and black seats, which I think were an HSC luxury option. And it's got these like cream, almost looks like ceramic inserts. Um, I'm sure it's not, I'm sure it's plastic, but they, they look really good. Um, it's got the three sunroofs, which is nice. Being the HSE, it's got heated rear seats. Um, there's a charger point there as well. It's got these uh, really nice carpets, which are, which are Land Rover ones. Really nice and thick, good quality. And yeah, the rear seats are, well, they're spotless. There's just not a mark on them, uh, to be honest. Rears of the front seats are really clean. I mean, it looks as though only, only a driver sat in the car. Again, really nice clean door card. Driver's seat. These uh, these seats are really prone to wear around these edges where you kind of bump into it as you get in, but these ones are really nice. Um, yeah, not a mark on the on the driver's seat to be fair, and the passenger seat. Again, just no marks on it at all. So we'll get in. We'll start it up. It is keyless go, so I've got two keys and they're both in my pocket. I'll just start it up there. No warnings on the dash. It's just to say the tire pressure monitor set for a heavy load, which you can adjust to a light load if you want, or a normal load. Um, got the dial down here for changing into drive or reverse, etc., or putting it into sport mode. And then we've got the terrain response system and the, the airmatic system for the suspension. So this is the suspension height. You can either lower it down or go higher. And you can go into low range here or we've just set high at the moment and that's the hill descent button. These are the different terrain response modes which you can change on the screen as well. Dual zone climate, um, heated front seats and I think I said the 
the middle row of seats, the outer ones are heated as well. Um, really good uh, nav on these ones, much better than uh, like my one. It's got uh, Bluetooth for your phone, uh, calls and it will stream uh, songs on it as well. So if I go to audio video, see at the minute it's streaming music from my phone at the minute, bit of Roxy music, brilliant. And we've got Dab Radio, if we wanted to go to that as well. There we go, we've got Heart come up there. Um, it's also got uh, navigation, which is full postcode, much, much better than the previous generation ones. And yeah, it's uh, it's just a really nice place to be in here. Um, every, absolutely everything works. We've got cruise control on here and we've got uh, the phone controls, that's volume and stuff and changing between the different modes. This wheel here controls what's on the screen. So we can, if we go show warnings, it will go back to the start because there's none. Does have quite a rare option, a heated steering wheel as well. Um, auto Xenon lights, um, the rear lights are LED as well. Got electric memory seats, got the window controls up there. It also has um, the Meridian stereo, which is super powerful and sounds amazing. So that's a really good option. <clears throat> it's really nice and quiet. A really, really nice car, our 2014 Land Rover Discovery 4 HSE.